welcome back to Eleanor's Restoration, video 31. It's still cold outside <clears throat> and we're still getting um, the beast from the east, followed by Storm Emma. Although hopefully by the time you watch this, it'll be nice and sunny and the snow will be a thing of the past. Because I'm about a few weeks behind at the moment, just by the time I get caught up with editing and things like that. <clears throat> but because of all this snow, I can't get out anywhere and neither can the wife. Which means I get to spend more time in the garage, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to pick up from where I left off the other day and um, yeah, we'll just keep going from there. Hope you enjoy. Yeah, that's the discs set aside. I'll refurb them at another time. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to look at taking the actual rear trunnions off. Uh, it's straightforward enough and it means if I take both of them off I can then spray them while I'm waiting on them dry and I can then work on another part. So. How's it on? Nut. Wash up. <laughs> Sorry folks, that's worse than a blackboard with the nails going down it. Who knows what that is in the background. Every time I put this camera on, somebody decides to do something outside. So. There we go. So, it's still quite decent underneath. It's just a thread that's been exposed there. So that'll all get cleaned up. And um, I'll do the same on the other side, I'll get the other side off. So there we go, that's um, both sides off. The trunnion here, this is the side here, the other bush here, these two washers sat together here, and the bolt went on here. So both sides are off. What I'm going to do is get these ground back and get them painted and these they're getting binned because they are being replaced with these I was going to go with polys but when I seen the orange I thought oh, yeah, I'll definitely need to go for orange to um, match the front Something different. So, off camera I'm just going to get these ground down sprayed, let them dry and then I can get this area on both sides cleaned up, some more paint on here before I put this back on and this cleaned up and we'll then be in a position to get it back on. Straightforward jobs, just time consuming and worth every second. So I did say at the start, this um, finish here, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it'll never last, so I need better paint on that. So what, there's no rust on it, that's a good thing. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give give it a, a light sand just to, to give the, uh, the paint a key, and then I'm going to paint on top of it. 
I'm going to use um, hand paint by a brush basically because I don't want to get spray paint everywhere over all these bits and what my plan is, I'm going to give it a light uh, sand, I'm going to paint it, let it dry up, maybe give it another coat, I'll see how it sets and then after that I'm going to actually put a stone chip all over it while I've got it off the car just to give it as much protection as I can but I'm going to do that once I've got everything off what I'm going to do just now is this area here before all of this goes back on so I'm just going to give it a light sand some paint so that basically when this goes back on later on I can have this on and I can just paint round about it and it'll make my life that little bit easier so yeah just give this a a little sand, give this a clean up and um, some paint and I'll come back to you, see what we're going to do next. So the trunnions that go onto the floor at the back of the subframe have been taken back to bare metal and um, they've had two coats of black gloss and I think you'll agree, they look great. As do the orange poly bushes. I don't know what it is, but putting the black and the orange together, you know, it just looks looks really good. So these just sit in here until they're ready to go on the subframe. And then when the bolt goes through, obviously it holds them in place and they can't move. I've decided I'm going to just keep these somewhere safe and not put them back on the subframe at the moment because I'll need to remove the other bits and pieces from the subframe, get it painted, uh, wait on that to dry and then I'll just sort of put everything back on it the one time. So yeah, they can sit safe somewhere just now until they're ready to go back on. But, well, please do that. So that's the thread being cleaned up and this bit's just given some I gave it a quick rub down with some um, 800 wet and dry I didn't want to scratch it too much I just wanted to give it a little key and then I've just hand painted it on you probably can't tell as much on camera you can see it's uh, a lot newer but I just wasn't happy with it it was new paint but it wasn't very thick so <clears throat> I'll let this dry and I'll give it a couple of coats <sighs> For those of you that watch regularly, you'll know by now that I'm very particular about these things. This is never going to be seen, but I want it to be done so it lasts and lasts and lasts. Um, even on camera now, I can see this light bit here. I'll need to amend that and get that painted because I want it to be perfect. I think for the last part of this, for today at least anyway, I'm going to get the quadrants off. That's quite tight, that one. So... Uh, I'll get this off and we're going to get this all cleaned up and repainted and that'll probably do for today but um, yep yeah, I'll stick this back on the tripod the um, bolt goes all the way through so it's just this bolt here and the bolt here let's see how that comes off so just a bolt Normal washer. I am crusty quadrant. Another washer. And the bolt just simply drops through. When it comes out the other side, you've got a washer fixed on that side as well. And just the bolt, which will be getting covered in copper piece. So, that comes off easily enough. You can see, very crusty. The 
question is what colour do I go for? Do I go for silver or do I go for black? Or I could go for something really, really random. I'll have a think. Okay, I'll get the other side off and I'll get it the same as with the trunnions cleaned up and then we'll go for a colour. But what colour? So, both sides off. This was built up. I don't know where it was bought from. Built up at a factory of someone done it himself, but little tiny differences. This side has got a spring washer and a normal washer. This one has got two normal washers, so it just shows you tiny little things. Never trust what's been put into these things. Just do it yourself and make sure it's been done properly. Yeah, I mean, that's not going to make a great difference, but if they've done that with one simple washer, what else have they not done or cut corners on, you know? So just be aware. Let's get these things cleaned and painted. Right, this is um, me started cleaning this up, but look at it. It looks terrible. So you look at the edge. The other one is in a bit better state on the edges, but still all dented around here. So there's no way these things are going back on my car or my subframe. So new ones, these are going in the bin. So there's the rear subframe, the old one anyway, bubble wrapped and ready to go to its new home. Um, I hate seeing things being wasted and this has now been sold and with the money I've made for this, I put straight back into the, the mini funds so I managed to get a full rear set of the orange poly bushes, a full exhaust um, hang and set and the two handbrake cables so you know it it all adds up and by me selling that that's just bought the parts i need for this subframe so it's it's all win somebody asked me on one of my older videos my previous videos where i got some of my parts uh, a few different places i mainly get the bigger stuff from bull motif mini spares they um they do free delivery if you spend over 50 pound that's £50 before VAT, so you need to spend that £50 and the delivery comes free. And that's to mainland Britain, unfortunately. So it's handy getting the free delivery. I just order big orders at a time. They if you, they have a section at the end for a discount code. You can put in MM1275, which stands for Mini Magazine 1275. And I think that gets you about 5% off your order on top of that as well, so... That's quite good. I also got a few bits and pieces from uh, Mini Mime. They have been really good uh, internet on the eBay. And the, the other bits and pieces I just sort of pick up as I go. And, you know, I, I tend not to go for the, the cheaper stuff where I'm not sure I would rather go with a, a named company so I know what I'm getting and what I'm putting on the car. But um, I just thought I would share that just if anyone's looking for cheap parts. But what I will say with Bull Motif, a lot of the prices are competitive. However, I have seen at times they do sell stuff on eBay. And sometimes the eBay prices are cheaper than it would be to buy on their website. So just keep an eye out for that as well. What I usually do is I have a look at the part number. And then on eBay I just type in the part number and it'll... It'll bring up everything that that part number's mentioned in, and it'll give you an idea there. You need to watch what you're doing when you're spending money on these things. So yeah, hopefully that little tip will help someone. Um, if anyone else has got any good companies they use that they would recommend, yeah, let us know in the comments. I know obviously Mini Spares and all that are, are up there as well, Mini Sport. The one thing with them is you have to pay the what was it, £8 postage. But um, yeah, let us know. Right guys, I think we'll end that video there. 
Um, I've got a few bits and pieces done, still got a few bits and pieces to go. A lot of it painting, um, bits and pieces like that. So I'll try and make it as interesting as I can for you. I'm not going to show you the boarding or what I think is the boarding stuff. Um, so, yeah, I've quite enjoyed it. You'll know yourself if you restore cars. Some days you, you're out in the garage and you're really calm, you're really relaxed and you really enjoy it. Other days you think, why did I bother? And sometimes you come out not in the right frame of mind and you think, I really should do this because I've not been here for a while, or, you know. And um, it's been a really enjoyable day today. I enjoyed um, doing these little bits and pieces and I enjoyed making this video for you as well as taking the photos for my vlog. So yep, um, thanks for your support again and thanks for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Let me know if you're not. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll end that one there and I will say take care and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.